Hello and welcome to Servant Tech's online tutorials. Today we're going to take a look at how to adjust the main menu of your website. So the way that you're going to access the main menu of your website is to look at the menus drop down item on the upper left hand corner of your back end. And when we click on menus, we'll see we have a few different options. We'll have the menu manager, which will show us a list of the menus that we have currently set up for our site. We also have the menu trash. Um, if you've thrown away any menus and you want to um, go back and publish them again, you could get them out of the menu trash. We also have the main menu and any other menus we've set up. Um, on this particular website, we have three menus set up, um, the main menu, quick links, and footer menu. But today we'll be looking at the main menu. So you can go ahead and click the main menu and this is where we have um, all of the content organized on our website. So we have the home menu item, we have an about us section with several sub-menu items, ministries, a nursery school, and resources. Now let's set up a new menu item and we can choose which main menu item we'd like this item to fall under. The way that we're going to create a new menu item is to go up into the upper right hand corner and just like in the article manager we'll see a new menu item icon um, which is the green circle again with the white plus mark. And If we select this we have several options to choose for what type of menu item we'd like to create. In this instance we'll simply create an articles item this menu item will link directly to an article that we've already set up on the site. So now if we go down to the article layout option, this will give us the ability to select a single article that we want to connect this menu item to. So let's select the welcome menu item that we already created in our article manager tutorial. And we just need to give this menu item a name. So let's call it welcome. And we can then choose which main menu item we want to put this item under. We could just leave top selected and it would create another main menu item. But if we want this to appear in a drop down menu on our main menu, we can choose what section we want this article to appear in. So if we wanted the welcome item to appear in the about us section, we can simply highlight about us and click save. This will take us back to our main menu once again and you can see that the welcome menu item is now listed under about us. Now we have the flexibility within this menu item manager to move the welcome item wherever we want in this list. Say we want the welcome item to come first under about us. We can simply click the arrows over on the right hand side to bump the menu up as many places as we'd like. We could leave it in the center of our list, we could bump it up to the top of our list. And now, if we were to go to the home page of our website, and we'll just need to refresh the page whenever we make a change like this, we need to refresh the page in order for it to appear, we'll see that the welcome menu item is the first in the list under About Us. Now say um, we weren't quite ready to publish this item yet, but we don't want to delete it necessarily, we just want to disable it so that people who view the site won't even see this option, but we still have the option of adding it easily in the future. The way that we can do this is by just clicking on this check mark under the published heading. So if we click on this check mark, you'll notice it turns it into a red circle with a white X in the center, which means that this menu item is currently unpublished. Now, if we were to go back to the home page and again refresh the page, you'll notice that under About Us, we no longer see the welcome menu item. Another way that you can publish an unpublished an item is when you're editing it directly. There are two ways to edit the item. You can either click on it, once you hover over it, you'll notice it. Um, gets an underline which tells us that it's a link. We can simply click on this or we can click the check mark and go up and click the edit button in the upper right hand corner right beside the new menu item button. And once we're here in the menu item we can choose 
yes to publish the item or no to unpublish an item. And we can also go in and select a different article that we'd like to link the menu item to. So for instance, if we wanted this article to link to, there's menu item, I'm sorry, to link to the Our Leadership article, we could simply choose that and make any adjustments we want to where we want the menu item to appear and click Save. And now it still has the same heading, it's called Welcome, but if we were to actually link to, if we were actually to refresh the page and click on the Welcome item now, it will go to the Our Leadership article. There's one other menu item layout that I want to look at today, and that is the category blog layout. The category blog layout is similar to an article layout in that you're linking a menu item to articles on your website. However, the category blog layout allows you to point that menu item to several articles that are all categorized in the same category. So one menu item that we've set up as a category blog layout here on this sample site is the latest news item underneath student ministries. So when people visit the latest news menu item on this website, they'll see several articles that will um, give them snippets of latest news for them to then click the article and link to that article directly. So there's a few different options. Um, the way that you'll find the category blog layout, this one we've already set up to be the category blog layout, but if we were to change the type, you can see where we got this from. Um, the category blog layout is listed under the articles item, and if you scroll down under category, you'll see category blog layout. And then you can choose the category that you want to link this blog layout to, this menu item to. So we want this menu item um, the latest news under student ministries to go to our student ministries section and pull these articles from the latest news category of the student ministries section. So we'll select this. Um, in the category, as we set it up, we could have established a description. If we want this description to appear on the page, we can click show or we can choose to hide it. And then we can also, if we designated an image for this category, we could choose to show or hide the image. Now these next four items are going to show you how you can lay out this page. If you want one primary article to appear at the top and then have maybe smaller intros to articles underneath, you can choose a number of articles that you want to be, serve as leading articles. Right now we've set this to zero so that all of our articles will have the same amount shown on the page. So there's none that are um, featured per se on this page. But then you can choose how many articles you want to appear on the page total um, as intro paragraphs. So for this particular menu item, we've chosen to have four intros appear on the page and we want them to appear in one column. Now you can change the number of columns to two or three and have these um, intros laid out in whatever type of layout you'd like to have on the page. You can also choose the number of links you want to have at the bottom if you wanted to have a list of articles at the bottom of your page that people can then click on to go directly to those articles. You can choose that number here as well. So those are the basics of the category blog layout and now that we've updated it we can click save. And those are the basic items that you'll need to know how to use as you set up your main menu. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at serventech.org, and we'd be happy to help. Thanks for joining us today.